Hi, this is Donita with the FCA Pit Pass, and I'm here with Blake Wharton. Blake, tell us how you got started riding, because I know it was a young age. And yeah, I, 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 uh, I started riding when I was seven, and my brother was actually eight. My dad bought us both bikes, and you know he used to race, so it was like, you know, let's start riding. And we started playing around, you know, trail riding, and then eventually we got more serious into it. Okay, and I know you're you got a championship at age 12, was it? Uh, at Loretta's, yeah, I won the. Uh, Let's see the 10 to 11 65 stock class at Loretta's, and that was my first Loretta's win. And I'd won a couple races before that, but it was a you know a special time for me because you know everyone wants to win Loretta's, everyone wants to go to Loretta's, and so I won it at a fairly young age. And so I was, you know, pr I was proud of that win. And but you know, from there we just kept on working, and kept on training, and, and you know eventually did better and better. Did it help that your dad used to race? Does he train you quite often? Or yeah, when we were younger, you know, it definitely helped because he. You know, he knew about the sport, and you know, when you're seven or eight, you're nine or ten, you don't really know a whole lot about it. And he used to race, and he he'd spent some time racing, a lot of time. Uh, and so, yeah, he had a he had a definitely a head start for us to help us kind of improve a lot quicker than say, you know, we none of us would have known what we're doing. But so he he really helped you train the right way on a dirt bike. Yeah, but you know, from a young age, we uh, we got a lot of help training also you know there's a lot of trainers uh, we work with a lot of uh, different trainers to you know just try to make those strides quicker you know and you've been riding for two or three years you want to be racing the guys who've been riding for four or five years and sometimes that takes a lot of practice and a lot of work and so we would we'd always be training and and then you know we eventually got there yeah so growing up I mean being so young at your with your championship and just being so successful at a young age what do you think that has done to you that, yeah, that's it's good, you know, you start winning young, but you want to, from there on, you want to continue to win. And so if you've, you've won all these races when you're 11 years old, maybe you have a tough year when you're 13 or 14, maybe it could be a little bit, you know, I guess distracting for some people, but, you know, you have years where you win more than others, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of distraction, let's talk about how grounded you are seems like your mom's here at every race and just how family oriented and grounded you are. Tell me about how that works. Yeah, uh, my parents grew up, well, we grew up with my parents at the races. You know, my brother was there, my mom and my dad and the mechanic, of course, you know, and then uh, my brother. So now I'm pro and, you know, we're not on the road as much, we're not traveling as much, but, you know, I still want my family there, I still want my dad there and, you know, we got there with them so it makes no sense to just you know, change everything now. You know, my dad still has good advice and a good opinion on the on the start or on the track, and my mom can help me. You know, when a lot of other people maybe can't. So, yeah. definitely, that's how I like it, and I don't know how anyone else is, but yeah. Well, you're you're at home quite a bit throughout the season. It, are you able to do that because your team comes there with you, or how? Does that no, work? the team is based out of California, and so it's a little tough being in Texas all the time. But when we have a test or when we have you know to go to California, we go. I'll fly out or me and my, you know, my dad or my mom. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's tough, but we're lucky that we can stay at the house. And, and the team works with us a lot, you know, and a lot of teams you can't really do that. You have to be where they're at. So it's been good. Yeah. Well, I want to talk about um, this project that you're doing called Tracking 21 um, with fourth graders. And it's just interesting because you guys stay in contact each week. Is that right? You know, sometimes we go two to three weeks, and sometimes I'll go in there twice a week. So it really depends, but I definitely uh, keep in touch with the teacher and the kids, and, uh, you know, they'll call me with an update for every race. You know, they'll tell me, actually this race I didn't because it's spring break, of course, but, you know, last week they called me and tell me a state fact, tell me how far I've traveled, tell me how far I flew, how far it is from home to here. So the teacher's incorporating a lot of different learning with motocross. And what, what, do, you, what do you then tell them? I tell them, you know, uh, you know, to, I guess, to study hard. You know, I was homeschooled since fourth grade, so I missed a lot of the school. And these kids are in fourth grade now, and so I can talk to them. You know, I told them I 
I went fourth grade. I went uh, homeschooled in fourth grade, and I pursued racing. You know, me and, my, me and my family, we hit the road a lot, traveled to California, and these kids maybe aren't able to do that, but I'd still tell them, you know, work hard, you know, if you have something you want to do, you know, as a, as a career, you know, start working at it now, you know, and, and whatever else the teacher, you know, teacher talks to me sometimes, and, and we figure out what they need to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and they're located in Dallas, so how did you guys get hooked up with that project? Well, they're actually located in Whitesboro, Texas, and it's, it's in the country a little ways. Uh, how it got started was my practice mechanic at the time's daughter went to this school. And the teacher just happened, she just happened to be a big fan of motocross. So, you know, through a friend and the teacher, you know, got, you know, they told her, told her about me. You know, I, I ride at their house a lot, and so it was like, yeah, have them come in one day. I'm like, all right, yeah, that'll be good. And I got there and didn't know what it would eventually turn into. You know, I was just going to show the kids my bike and some gear. And it eventually turned into the Tracking 21 project. And actually, Mrs. Beal, the teacher, has done a really good job with it. And I just show up and help her out. Sounds like a great way to turn it educational, that's for sure. So you have a love for the young, sounds like. Yeah, I mean, we all were in fourth grade at one time. And, you know, we, I don't think school is any kid's favorite part of growing up. But, you know, if you can make it more interesting for them, maybe help them learn a little bit. And, you know, I think it's worth it. Well. We have to talk about your season because everybody wants to know how you're feeling this season and, and how you're doing and what, what's what's your perspective? Uh, my season so far, is, it's been, you know, I started out pretty good and had some rough ends to the first couple races, but, you know, that's, I guess, racing. Uh, I've been trying to work hard and I've been working hard and, you know, being a practice mechanic or hitting the tracks and, and doing what we're supposed to. You know, I've been working out good. and. And, you know, I'm waiting for that breakthrough kind of moment, breakthrough ride. You know, I feel good in practice today, so hopefully it's tonight. Yeah. Hopefully it is today. Um, well, we have FCA motocross camps, as you know, and we would hope to see you at one sometime soon, maybe this summer or next. Yeah, I'll uh, check my schedule, and I'd love to come out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we're going to follow you in a couple weekends for the Dallas Supercross with the um, fourth graders, and so we'll see you there. Sounds good. Thanks, Blake.